In this lesson, we're going to take a look at more refactoring, specifically how we can convert local variables to fields, converting anonymous classes, and moving a type to a new file. So to get started, open up Password Data Editor and quickly add an interface such as this one, which essentially has a name and a couple methods to perhaps get and set a property. It doesn't have to make any sense. We just simply see how this would work if we did have a type declared. In fact, if we didn't have it public, it might already be declared within the same file. And now we've decided we actually want to extract this type into its own file. So what we can do is highlight or select the type that we want to extract into its own file. And then in the refactor menu, simply select Move Type to New File. Now this will bring up a dialog which lets us see what's going to happen. Essentially that interface is going to be removed from Password Data Editor and we're going to create MyType.java containing that code. So we could go ahead and select OK if we want to see that in action. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it and I'm going to actually remove this code from my file. I don't need it. It was simply for that demonstration purpose. The next step that I want to show you is converting a local variable to a field. So we'll take a look at display item here. And in display item, we have this pair p equals passwords.getCurrentIndex. So what we want to do is go ahead and select the line that contains the variable we'd like to extract. And again, in the refactor menu, we can select convert local variable to field. Now we have some different choices here. We can name our variable whatever we'd like. So let's call it our pair. And we can make it public, protected, packaged, or private. And we can initialize it as a field in the current method or in the class constructors. What makes the most sense here, since we're taking in passwords and making sure that the passwords hopefully is set, let's go ahead and just leave it initialized in the current method. If you wanted to initialize it at the top, you could do that. And you could see the difference if you hit the preview, but essentially we want it declared at the top and initialized in our method. We can make it static, we can make it final if we're declaring at the field declaration type only, of course. That's the only time it would make sense. So let's go ahead and preview this and see what would happen. So now we'll see that private pair our pair equals passwords dot get current index is set at the top when I initialize that in the field. When I'm in the current, I'll have private pair our pair and it won't be initialized until the method, which is what makes the most sense for our code. And we could easily do that and see that our code would then allow that variable to be declared at the top of the file and used in the method. So finally, the last thing I'd like to look at is converting an anonymous class. So all of our button presses within the password data editor all have action listeners added to them. So each action listener, of course, has inside of it some action performed method that exists as part of that anonymous class. So what we can actually do, if we were looking to extract all of our button presses into one simple function, perhaps they're all running the same code. In this case, they're not. But if they were, we could easily go to one of the anonymous function declarations and go to refactor and select convert anonymous class to nested. Now when we do this, we can again make it public, protected, package, or private, and we'll call this common button press, something that would make sense if we were to have a common method. You can again declare it as final or static, and it says, you know, this should start with a common capital C based on convention, so let's do that. And then we can preview and see what would happen. So here what we'll see is that we declare a private class, common button press, implements action listener, has the action performed, taking the action event, and has the code. So if we wanted all of our button presses to simply call that, we could then go in and refactor our code. And essentially the button next and all the other buttons that we want, we should replace with this new common button press instead of this action performed. So right now it would just be the one that would be affected. If you hit OK, you can see that in place. And again, that makes a lot of sense, especially if you're trying to make a common function call for all button presses or anytime you need to extract an anonymous class into its own nested class that you can reference from multiple places. So that wraps up our look at refactoring to get local variables to fields, converting anonymous classes to nested, and moving types to a new file.